A pretty interesting casting call going out for the Batman. What exactly does Matt Reeves need circus people for? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we got a little update on the Batman. But first, get in on this month's giveaway. We're giving away this copy of JLA 1 million. In order to get in on the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit like, and leave a comment. Well, Matt Reeves' Batman has been under production for about two or three weeks now, and we're getting some more rumblings about some additional castings. Now, we've heard some rumors for a while that Matt Reeves is planning to introduce a new version of Robin in the Batman trilogy, and we might finally have our first hints that that might actually be the case. A casting call has gone out for extras with a variety of circus skills, and this, as you might expect, leads to a lot of speculation that Batman or Bruce Wayne could be visiting Halley's Circus. If you don't know what that is, that's the home of the Flying Graysons. It certainly would make for an effective ending of the movie, or maybe even some sort of extended post credit scene for Bruce Wayne to witness the murder of the Flying Graysons, or even just see him walking into the circus. It completely works. Then opening the second movie with him already having taken Dick under his wing, and you really don't have to rehash the Robin origin story even on film. All these moving pieces really shouldn't surprise anybody. Matt Reeves has added a lot of Batman characters already to his universe, and he clearly intends on building quite a comprehensive Batman U. Although we've gotten Dick Grayson in Titans in recent history, Dick Grayson hasn't seen the big screen since 1997 when he appeared in Batman and Robin and was played by Chris O'Donnell not the highlight of the DC Films universe. Now, lots of details for this production have leaked out over time, but we've heard no confirmation that Dick Grayson will actually appear. Although, last September, Forbes reported that Matt Reeves does actually have plans for Robin and Batgirl, just no confirmation in the trilogy where they'll appear. Like I said, I think this is probably just seeds for the Dick Grayson character and not an actual appearance in this movie, but we'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think? Are we going to see Dick Grayson in the new Batman movie, or is this just a little visit to Halley Circus? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.